What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Simply Walk the Talk. I am your host, Joshua J. Holland. And today we have a little different format with our show. Um, I do have a guest on the show that's going to help walk everyone through a way to do the 15 by 5 workout. And I posted this pretty interesting Instagram reel the other day about the 15 by 5 workout. And I realized that people had a lot of questions. So they, they didn't really quite know how to spell it out or how to do it, how to perform it correctly. So I decided to come up with a PDF and I decided to write a book about the whole concept. And I created a four week program in which we're gonna take Germany Mayfield, who's on the show with us today. And we're gonna take him through the first whole week of the 15 by five workout. And then we're gonna maybe tease a little bit of the second week and then leave weeks three and four for a later time. So um, if you're curious about what the 15 by five workout is all about, how to perform it, why it's useful, when to do it, how often, all of that stuff, you definitely want to stay tuned to this show. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Welcome to Simply Walk the Talk. Our bodies and minds adapt to what we do most of the time. If you want to change your body and mind, you must change what it is you do most of the time. This podcast explores all things health, wellness, fitness, lifestyle, and biohacking. Stay tuned as we explore various thoughts, methods, and experiences from a multitude of conversations between our interesting guests and experts through many fields of work. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Simply walk the All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mr. Germany Mayfield. If you've been um, if you've been watching any of my content over the years, you may have noticed that uh, Jeremy and I have worked together for quite some time. Um, he, in fact, he's one of the the people that I've known the longest when it comes to to being in this fitness career. Um, he's also a fellow hooper. He's a fellow basketball player, trainer, um, and we've just done so much together. In fact, people swear that we are brothers, right? Brothers from another mother, apparently. <laughs> right. Um, right. So yeah, so Germany, welcome to the show, bro. Hey, man, thank you for having me, man. Really excited to contribute to what you put together and developed. And you're always like on the cutting edge, innovative, creative, open-minded, and I'm always down for it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, excited about yeah. this, let's get it. Yeah, when I, when I was thinking of like, who could I get to kind of help walk through this this program with, I'm thinking Germ. I gotta call Germ up because yeah, you're one, yeah, yeah. you know, you're one of the most athletic people I know, and you're super fit, which I'm sure we will see here in a moment. And uh, and <laughs> you know, it's like right now, like I figured we could all use the content. So why not put you know put our heads together and come up with something really cool? And my hope is that the people watching and listening to this will come away with something, realizing that anyone can carry out this program. I designed this several years ago, I think one of the first times that I rolled this out to the public was um, on Kinetic, Kinetic Live. This was like six years ago or seven years ago. And um, it was like the first time that I put this content out there. And now we fast forward seven years later and I decided to put a whole program around it. So I used the, the what we call progressive overloading approach in which we start out in week one with all foundational uh, isometric moves. And basically the way, the way it's spelled out, Gordon just had the PDF up. Um, ideally you would do this workout three to five times per week. And so what you may notice is that Monday has listed lower body, upper body, and core. And I give a person at least three exercises to choose from on those, on those different sections of the body. And the goal here is that you can use this as a warm up to your normal routine, your normal workout, or you can use this as a standalone workout. And so what I'll take Germ through today is the top of each of those, just kind of as an example. So he's gonna do the squat hold. He'll do that 12 rounds of 15 seconds in a hold position, five seconds in a rest position. And then we'll move on to the push-up version. That's gonna crush him, I promise you, <laughs> right? So he's gonna do the push-up position. He's gonna hold half push-up 
for 15 seconds and then he's going to push up into a full plank for five seconds. He'll do that 12 rounds and then we'll finish with a boat pose. Same thing. You're holding the boat pose position 15 seconds, re relax for five seconds. You do that 12 rounds. So if you carry all of those out in any given day, that gives you 12 minutes of work. Okay. So that's what we're going to take Germany through. And then because I know people will have questions about week two, we'll do a very abbreviated version of week two, which is the 15 by five dynamic uh, protocol. And it's basically the same concept of 15 seconds of work, but now you're moving dynamically up and down through those movements instead of holding those movements, okay? So that's the very basic overall concept. And then weeks three and four, we'll do at a later time. But um, yeah, Jerm, do you have any questions before we get going? Uh, no, but I will tell you that I do remember now us doing this uh, back in the day. My hair is much longer and like a little bit more. So, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Hopefully you remember the pain. <laughs> because yeah. if, if not, you're yeah. going to get reminded today. And, and again, for anybody listening or watching, I don't want to scare you off by, by, you know, seeing that Germany is so fit and that, you know, if he, if he, if it's tough for him to do it, then you can't do it. That's totally not the goal here. The goal is, is in fact, when a person is very muscular, we tend to build up lactate much quicker than someone who is not very muscular or very fit. So, you know, I have even my client, Roger Waters, 79 years old, he does this workout with me, you know? So we do it together. Um, and because I've seen a wide variety of people carry this out, I figured why not roll this out in a bigger way and uh, very soon, I'm going to be doing a fitness challenge on social media. And we may even do some uh, Instagram and YouTube lives with it as well. Jerm is going to go through the squat position. He's going to do this 12 rounds. Okay, so he's holding a squat. You can play around with the different variations of the squat. You can do a narrow squat. You can do a wide squat. You can do a deep squat. Or you can do a shallow squat. The goal is to be in a hip hinge position for this, basically, for these next four minutes. All right? So here we go. Uh, I'm going to have you. Oh, also, Jerm, I will be giving you a five second countdown to understand when you're about to come up. And then I'll give you a okay. three second countdown on when you're to go back into the position. OK. OK. All right. So if you want to follow this at home, just listen to me in my headphones or in your headphones. And uh, Jerm is starting with the squat position. Let's have some fun. Ready? Three, <clears throat> two, one and begin. All right. So I got the time. What I'm going to be encouraging Germany to do is to make sure he's breathing nasally, breathing in through the nose and either out through the nose or throughout the mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand, recover, breathe. Three, two, one. Back down into a squat. So now, as you can see, that five seconds becomes really quick after doing this for 12 yeah. rounds. Three, two, one, and stand. Good. So we're at round two, three, two, one, back down. So this is three of 12. This gets us to the first one minute. <clears throat> Standing up in five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Back down in three, two, one, and hold that squat. While you're holding the squat, obviously you want to be focusing on your nasal breathing, but you also want to focus on parts of your body that are starting to burn. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Breathe in through the nose, slowly out the mouth. Three, two, one, back down and hold. You can also focus on shifting your your body weight into your heels so you can feel more of your hamstrings and more of your glutes three two one and stand it back up three three two one back down so we are approaching the halfway point this is usually the point in which people go okay all right I, you know i see yeah. five four yeah. three two one and stand breathe back down in three two one hold that squat so now this is number seven this is number seven 
You want to keep your core tight. You want to practice making sure that you have an upright torso. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Three, two, one, and back down. Yesterday was leg day. Try some new modalities. I knew the, I knew the excuses would come, of course. Five, mm. four, three, two, one, and stand. Breathe. Back down in three, two, and down. One. Okay, so now this is rep number nine of 12. And I like to call them reps because all we're doing is 12 reps total. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Here's this last minute in three, two, one, down. Here's number 10. Now, as we get into this last minute, yeah, I want you to embrace the shake. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, breathe. Three, two, one, back down. Hold that squat, Jeremy. We got this. We got two more rounds. This one and the next one. Jeremy's a little bit deeper and wider. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand. Here comes that last one, Jerm. Three, two, one. Back down. Let's go. Finish this one strong. Let's go. Let's get it. You know, strategic in this, doing my deep squat at the end. I can rest here a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Five, mm. four, three, a little bit. two, one, and stand up. You are finished oh. now with the lower body. Okay, now, the shirt's coming off. Jeremy's starting to sweat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. I'm timing you before we start the next bit, which is going to be upper body. I want you to, to have about 30 seconds to one minute of rest. Right now, you are 20 seconds into your rest, okay? You're going to prepare for the push-up. Now, I have yet to find any person so far to do this this upper body portion in a full push-up position. It, any challenges? You ready, you ready to accept? Bro, let's get it, bro. Come on now. Let's get it. All right. So, Jerm, is, you got 20 seconds. Jerm is going to try to do the push-up version. I usually suggest everyone to do this kneeling, but Jerm is a beast. So, uh, we're going to start in 10 seconds. Get ready, Jerm. Remember, you're holding half push-up. And then you're holding a full plank for your rest. Starting in three, two, one, and hold your squat, your push up. Halfway down. Well done. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up, full plank. Breathe. Two. One back down. back down. I did last week. I had to do 114 push-ups, so without stopping. Let's see what I can do. Three, two, one. Push it up. Breathe. Three, two, one. Back down. Can I pike? Down dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. All right, that's three of twelve. Three, two, back down. This is rep number four. If you can get impressive, if you can do this whole thing full push up, you'll be the first. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. Good, back down, back down. Good. So you're working hard. Here, you want to focus on spreading those fingers to protect the wrist. Three, two, one. Coming back up, full push up. <clears throat> Breathe. Three, two, one. Back down, hold that push up. Keep the core tight, hips up. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. You're halfway there, bro. Halfway there. Three, 
two, <laughs> one. Back down. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You're going to be the first one to do this full push up? <laughs> yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Two, one. And back down. Back down. Let's get it. Come on. I lost the ear blip. Mm. Sorry. Right. Yeah, we still got you. Mm. Five, four, three, mm. two, one. Back up. Mm. That was eight down. Mm. Three, two, one. Back down. This is number nine. Let's get it. Let's get it. Mm. Nice. Five, four, three, mm. two. One, push it up, push it up. Come on. Nice. Three, two, one, back down. Back down. Mm. Germ said, Ain't nobody did it. I'll be the first to do it. Mm. All right. Respect, respect, respect. Mm. Five, four, mm. three, two, one. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Three, two, one, back down. Come on. You got two more. This one and the last one. Mm. You got it. You seriously might be the first to hold this, bro. I dig it. I dig it. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, push up. Come on. Last one. Last one. Three, two, one. Back down. Come on, Jerm. Knock it out. Last one. Last one. Come on. Last one. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> three, two, two. One, two. Now, we got the core version. Okay, I want you to prepare for the core version. Okay? Now, again, anybody watching or listening, you do not have to do that version. But if you're like Jerm and you want to challenge yourself, you obviously can. Um, it is tough. He's not making this up. This is tough. Now, I want you, you got about 25 seconds to prepare for the core version, which is a boat pose. Okay? Anybody at home? You've got a few options you can do, but I'm gonna have Jerm do the boat pose. You're gonna start in 15 seconds. So you're holding your legs off the ground, arms off the ground. You can put your hands down to balance. We're starting in five seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, and boat pose. Here we go. So the main focus here is breathing through the nose, inhaling softly through the nose as best you can. Slow, long exhale throughout the mouth. Okay, you can hum, you can grunt like Jerm is doing. <laughs> and down, relax. Relax. Three, two, one. Back up. <laughs> uh, and here I want you to focus on driving your chest up. Driving your chest up. <laughs> Five, four, good. Three, that's much better. Two, one. And relax, recover. Three, two, one. One, back up, engage, let's go. Good. Yeah, now you might have seen me on the on the video on IG. I have my hands behind my head, hands above my head, different variations. Five, four, three, one, and relax. That's round one down. And engage, back up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Three, two, one, engage. Let's go. Come on, bro. You got this. Another important reason for, for why people should watch this video is because if you're just listening to this, you might not know what's going on. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Come on. Mm. Yeah, try to mm. reduce some of those, those, those grunts if you can. I know it's hard, but I want people to be able to hear the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Three, two, one. Let's go. Engage. Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover. 
two, one, engage. Come on, come on. You can put your hands down if you need to. It's not a cheat. <laughs> Chest up and protect the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Three, two, one. Engage. This is number nine, Jerm. Nine of 12. You almost finished, bro. Hang in there. I know this is tough. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, we got the last three rounds. Three, two, one. Engage. Let's go. Engage. Come on. Chest up. Chest up. There you go. That's better. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Three, two, one. Engage. Let's go. You got it. Chest up. You got it. Yeah, it's okay to hold, bro. It's okay to hold those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. <laughs> Here comes the last one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Last, last, one. One. last one. Last one. Last one. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. And recover. Recover. Nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was from start to finish with one minute break in between each of those sets. That was 14 minutes of work. If you've got an extra 14 minutes, which I think you can find an extra 14 minutes, you see that it's enough to get you going, right? But it's not too much to where you can't go and do something afterwards. Like from here, if he wanted to go and bang out, you know, some squats or you know, deadlifts or something like that, he could because his, his muscles will be full of blood. Nitric oxide is sort of being forced throughout his body and his muscles to be able to dilate those blood vessels and they're sending loads of nutrients and oxygen to the, to the muscles so he, can, uh, so he can perform. So this is probably the best time to do a workout if you really want to. I want people to see this and understand this as a way to, that, you know, you don't have to go to a gym. You know what I mean? Germ is there in Houston by the Christmas tree. You know what I mean? Even though it's in the summertime, right? And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, summer tree. you don't have to be. It's a summer tree. <laughs> it's a summer tree. <laughs> this is designed to be either a warm up, right? So, like, ideally, I would have taken somebody through, you know, the warm up movements we've done <clears> together before, you know, like the MAP and uh, movement analysis pattern and, you know, arm swings, leg swings, just to make sure the joints are, are ready. Um, but yes, you would go from a reg your regular warm up into 15 five as a warm up or as a standalone workout, and then you call it a day. And the thing I love about this and being able to implement this with other people is that you know you have this program here in this PDF, and eventually you'll have the book, and you can just put this up on your on your refrigerator, and you can say, okay, I knocked this out for today. You know, if you decide you want to do it on Tuesday as well, okay, great. Tuesday's optional, but. Um, I would ask that you choose a different set of movements each time. So like if Germ were to do this tomorrow, I would ask him to do the split squat hold. That's a monster, you know? The split squat hold is like a lunge, but, you know, one foot forward, other yeah. foot back. If you don't mind, and just very quickly, I want to give people an example of what the 15 by 5 dynamic version would be like. First week is pretty simple because we just went through that. You find one movement in the lower body, upper body, and core. And then you do each of those one movements, 12 rounds of 15 seconds on, five seconds off. Okay, that should be pretty simple. Now, the second version of week two is 15 by five dynamic. Mm -hmm. So now he's got 15 by five dynamic up. It still follows the lower body, upper body core. But now instead of holding the squat, you would do a body weight squat up and down for 15 seconds, rest for five. The upper body, you would, instead of holding the push up hold, you would do push-ups up and down for 15 seconds, rest for five. The core, instead of doing a boat pose, you would do a jackknife or a full sit-up or glute bridges, you know, something that is dynamic. And you would do all of those for the same concept, so it's still the same 15 by five. Let's do one minute of lower body, take a break. One minute of upper body, take a break. One minute of lower of core. So this is going to be an example of what week two 
looks like. Week two, 15 by five, dynamic. We're going to choose the same movement, and then we're going to make it dynamic. So he did squat hold for lower body. Now he's going to do a body weight squat for 15 seconds, up and down. Up. The average person is doing around 10 repetitions in that 15 seconds. So it's not a race necessarily, but you do want to try to get good quality reps up and down. So if you do the 12 rounds and you're doing 10 reps on average, you're doing about 120 squats. This is why this is also challenging. Okay, <clears throat> ready? Starting yeah. in five, four, three, two, one. Squat it out. And still following that nasal breathing. Making sure you get good quality reps. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Breathe in through the nose. Three, two, one. Back down. And for those that are listening to me, as I'm saying this, what I mean by back down is basically engage. So we engage and then we disengage or we recover. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Here's the last round for this, just for today's example. And begin. Engage. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. So, Jerm would do that another nine rounds, right, to suffice that fifteen by five dynamic for lower body. Now we're gonna we're gonna skip those other nine rounds with Germany since he's already done the the ISOs today. And we're gonna move to upper body. So he's gonna do push ups for fifteen seconds and then rest for five. He's gonna do three rounds of that, which is gonna take him to a minute of work. All right, ready? And go. So again, if you did the, the kneeling version of the push-ups for the 15 by five ISO, you might still wanna do this on kneeling. Three, two, one, recover. Three, two, one, engage. This is round two. And obviously I want people to do what's comfortable to them or slightly uncomfortable. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Three, uh, two, was 20. one, and go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. <laughs> so now keep in mind, keep in mind, you knew you could bang out that many because you were only doing three rounds, right? But if you had kept yeah. that pace up, you would have been doing, you know, over 200 reps, right? Which is why, again, I want to make sure that we progressively overload someone. We don't just overload them from the, from the beginning. So really good job. Now we're going to do this last one. So jackknife, you're laying all the way down. You're coming up. Both, both feet and hands come up. So we're doing that for 15 seconds. And resting for five. We're doing three rounds of that. Jackknives. 15 seconds. Ready? And work. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and recover. Three, two, one, and engage. Now, I know people hear me only saying three, two, one, but that's because it's still five seconds, but I'm, I'm only doing the last three second countdown now. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. Three, two, one. One and engage. Here's the last one, Jerm. Last one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Five. That's it. Open up. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. <laughs> Good work. Good work. That's the gist. That's the gist of it. I promise I won't make you do anything else, Jerm. Certainly a mental challenge, but teaching yourself, it teaches you pace self-awareness and, uh, you know, engaging in areas that you probably don't normally engage in, um, bringing other small muscles into play 
to help you get through it? The awareness piece, you know, I love talking about awareness. And I do agree. It's kind of like, you know, can most people do this one time? Sure. I think most people can do this one time. But are you willing to do it the second time, the third time, and to follow this program? And this is, you know, this leads to kind of the ultimate wrap up here is that, you know, I want to see so many people following this program because not not for anything other than I know it can work for people. You know, I'm not sitting here to say that this is going to change, transform anybody's body, you know, in a month, but it could, right? And it might allow you to understand that you might only want to do the ISO and never move to, to the dynamic portion. You may never want to get to the Tabata portion that I'm going to roll out. You might not get it to, you know, the, the combined portion, which is sort of the wrap up of all of this. But obviously, you want to make sure that you're doing everything else that I lay out in my book. You know, you want to, you want to focus on quality awareness. You want to focus on quality rest and recovery, quality consumption quality activeness. And then this certainly is a piece of quality exercise. You know, in the book, I didn't really get a chance to dive in as deep into the 15 by five concept as I am now. But that's why I decided to write a book on this concept, because it's something that's lived within me for years. And now I'm finally putting it out there in a way that kind of makes sense. And there's a lot of like research and citations that, 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 I'm, that, I'm, that I've put into the book and basically telling people why I came up with it. And um, now I just want to see if I can get as many testimonials as possible. I, I posted that I'm going to roll out this program, the full program. I'm going to start week by week, and then I'm going to follow up with some IG lives. So um, if you want to hop on a live with me, then, you know, let's do it. You don't have to necessarily do the workout if, if you don't want. But, like, since you have done it, you have more experience than anybody else doing it. So why not follow me on social media at Germany fit benefiting from pioneers like my, my boy, Josh, um, and just exploring, um, and growing every day. So, and I encourage anybody, whether, whatever field you work in, it doesn't have to be fitness or, you know, healthcare or whatever it is, always grow and try to strive and put your best foot forward, uh, leaving nothing on the table to question. Um, and just, uh, you know, do, do some serious introspection uh, when you can, as often as you can, and uh, more importantly, stay active and uh, try. Always try. Yes, sir. I recently completed my manuscript and submitted it to a publisher, so it's going through the editing process. And I'm super excited. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to continue to post on my social media outlets. And what's crazy is that it has nothing to do with physical fitness. So mm -hmm. check it out. Brilliant. Until next time, everybody. This is Josh signing out with Simply Walk the Talk. Peace. the talk talking facts move like me but i move a little fast make my move here to last fast in these seat belts i'm coming past take care of me longevity hack my biology better believe walking the talk so my and body connected better come give us a listen